G'day guys and welcome back to Stitch Up and another episode of Fox Hill Tycoon. This is our Great Gun Barrel Highway series and I believe this is, let me see what episode this one is, I think this might be episode 10, this might even be episode 9 but we'll, <laughs> we'll see, I think it might be episode 9 then. Uh, but whatever episode this is, the last episode we created these lovely trucks, these, these, I mean they're struggling to go up and down the hills and of course in this series the nature of the, um, of the, we're sort of playing on a non-level ground um, and um, you know because it's got this kind of Australian outback and the rolling hills, um, that sort of kind of the hinterland, uh, you know, not giant mountains, but all these sort of hills that all always stack around, lots of valleys, nothing too deep, but just lots of. Uh, so, and um, in this series, we are um, cracking along and doing a few things. This episode, we're going to be... Um, we're going to be finishing our metro extension, which we, we really set up in the last episode. So we're going to be commissioning that. And of course, to get that going, we have to get a road interchange going over here. Uh, of course, I'm going to talk to you about science and the pivot to um, something a little different from what we were doing in the last episode. So jump in, guys. Enjoy the Stitch Up intro, and I'll see you back here in just a sec. Okay, a nice little glass of wine there, and we are off and running. Um, so let's jump straight in. Uh, the most important thing to do this episode, I think, is going to be uh, the commissioning of our uh, metro. Um, and let's get that there. Yeah, let's get the metro commissioned up and ready to go. So let's just recap what we're doing with the metro um, passenger rail. So originally, we just had a spur line. Um, we'll freeze there. I had a spur alone from here and it came up to here, double tracked of course, well single tracked actually. What I've done is uh, as part of the extension I've double tracked that. Uh, now we've just got these little trains going here and they just go there. So uh, what we'll do now that we've got this running, a little depot, now that we've got the extension we'll go from Bass Northwest, we'll go into Ararat South, Ararat South of course, um, and then we'll come along into the extension. So it'll then come into here, which would be Cape Java Southwest. Now to do this, we have to put a tunnel across here. So I think we're going to pause. We've got 395,000 in the bank. So let's pause and see what we need to do to get this running. But I believe somewhere along the line, I'm going to need to get myself a... Um, yeah, I'm going to get... Well, I'm going to need to get myself... The bridge starts here. I will need to uh, sort out a lovely... Um, uh, sort of underpass uh, where the where the cars will go underneath. So the metro and I always play my, with my rail lines uh, fairly not going up and down hills, fairly at grade. So I don't like to go up and down hills. Um, so that's how we are going to be doing that. Um, and I like to keep them. And the cars can go up and down is what we kind of go with all the the road the road vehicles. So that's kind of what we're doing. Although the Great Gumbrel Highway just comes up a little step here. Uh, I did want to just point. Out that I've pivoted the science. Uh, we changed the science from steel smelting. We changed that across to rails um, three. Um, and of course, if you are on the Voxel Tycoon Discord, you may have seen conversation with myself and um, Andrew, uh, one of the devs, but also um, some other uh, Discord members. And I guess we're having a little bit of a laugh because. Um, you know, well, I had an issue where the game wouldn't load anyway due to a, an issue with the biome. The biomizer mod was broken and preventing lots of saves going. Uh, and, um, you know, myself and a few others raised it and the community came together and Andrew got it sorted out and it's brilliant. So um, brilliant community on the Voxel Tycoon Discord. So if you haven't checked out the Discord, join it. If you like this game, it's worth joining that. Um, but the, my reason for bringing that up was... Uh, that uh, once I got the game up and running, I worked out that I've got the level two, and I'll pause here, I've got the level two garage, um, uh, sorry, rail depot. So if I come in here, uh, I've got it unlocked. Well, I thought I had it unlocked because I've got the rails two unlocked. And in the base game, by doing rails two, you get the level two depot. However, here it only gives me the fine track. Um, and that is unusual. Um, and the mod setups that I've got, one of the mods I'm using, and I don't know which one, but one of the mods I'm using is pushing the um, uh, is pushing 
Uh, let's have a look here. Let me see. Can I start new research? Yeah, it's pushing. Uh, if I go to Rails 3, it's putting the depot 2 behind the Rails 3 upgrade. So to do that, I've got stone being delivered. So instead of, I think I had um, uh, for steel, I think I had some iron bars going in there. And now I've got um, uh, them being brought by train, which is the train I originally had to bring the stone. It's coming to here. And then these guys are bringing <laughs> the stone over to the research. So I just want to point that out because that's happening in the background while we're building this um, metro extension. So now that there's no cars here, let's pause. And what I want to do is I just want to bring this back a little bit. I'm going to use my control key here and I'm just going to knock it back to e even levels and I'm going to put it back to there. Everything's fairly, um, fairly cheap. Oh, by the way, uh, this is really exciting. I'm actually just going to unpause it again. This is really exciting, actually. Um, the free terraforming mod is back up and running in the beta in the beta branch. So if I go to terraforming, I have the mod enabled. Now look at when I do this: 428,000, and nothing changes. And I'm terraforming, and it's not costing me anything. I'll go fix that up at some point. Um, but that's cool. That is really cool. I mean, I love the free terraforming mod. I absolutely love it. Right, uh, these houses are probably going to have to go, and this one's probably going to have to go, but let's see how we can do this. So I'm going to have to terraform here. So let me just chop this back. Let me go back um, five voxels. One, two, yeah, five voxels. Yep. And let me go back here, five voxels there as well, and just see. Uh, what I will do now is let's get rid of the road. Um, it's just a shame about this little bit here. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of these two, 23,000. Oh, it's just one of them. Okay, good. So that's gone. And I'm going to get rid of this one as well. Uh, it's a house, so you're gone. Okay. So it's a shame, but I just didn't want those there anyway. And I'm going to get rid of this road. So now we have this. And what we can do now is we want to keep this a grade anyway. So now we'll see if we can get uh, something going here for the rails. So I'm going to jump onto the rails here. And I'm going to be looking to see uh, what we'll need to do. But I think we're going to have all sorts of problems anyway. So I think the best way to do it, I had to think about this actually, the best way to do this might be if we just drop these guys back to here and then we just terraform back again to there. No, well, yeah, I think to there. Yeah, so it's two voxels. Yeah. And then I'm just thinking what I might do here is... Um, I actually want to just, I want to get rid of these trucks. So I'm just going to unpause the game for a second, repause it. And now I've got rid of those trucks so I can I can actually de delete some stuff. Uh, and I want to delete the road here. So let me just delete, say, from here to, let's say, there and everything in between. Uh, and then I'm actually going to drop down, um, I'm going to drop the terrain down a little bit and see if this is going to help me to... Uh, to do this. So let me drop the terrain a bit out like this. I don't know if I'm over engineering this actually, but I, I think this might not be good for the, the purpose of a tunnel. Uh, let me just drop this guy and come back here and do the same here. Okay. So if I did this, um, oh, actually, we, sorry, what we're meant to be doing here, let me do this. I actually meant to be dropping it here, but that's all right. Free terrain mod is brilliant, so that'll fix that. So I'm doing that in order to get it down a, f a fair bit, but what I want to do here is just create some piers, some, some um, uh, I want to basically just create the bridge piers to be a little bit sort of, if I don't remove the soil there, then they're going to create them on soil sort of stands. And I want them to be a bit more like this, where they're kind of, not like that, but a bit like this. That's it. Um, cool. Okay, let's let's keep building this then. Uh, so if that is the how that is, and that is how that is, uh, I think what I'll do now is I'm going to just pick my points. So let's go here. Uh yeah, flatten. Let me go. Flatten was already on. Let me pick it to there. Okay, and just come to here and just say, right, let's see what we're going to do. Um, and now see when I put the rails across, right, to here, and then I go bridge, drop this down to zero, and then pick the right type of bridge. So it'll be there, yeah. 
uh, and let's think about this. If I go cast iron bridge, which is here, you are okay there. And I like that, although I don't like the last bit. So you can see there they are. So if I change the voxels here to be, let me just have a look here. Yeah, this could work. This could work. I think I need to drop it back one more. Let me just try just getting this guy back a tiny bit more. I think I've got the opportunity to do this. So if I come here and I just go, right, get rid of one more on each, and then, sorry, while we're here, get rid of... It'd be nice if I didn't have to look down every time. Um, but I've got a, um, a new uh, microphone, well, an existing microphone um, that I've got in now. So hopefully my audio is a little bit better, although I think I need to change some settings. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll get we'll get we'll get that going. Lots happening. Uh, okay, so we want to bring this back one, and just hopefully then, if I come to this, just looking to see, if I go to this, and I'll just do this, uh, and it's going to here with the bridge. So where is it? Sorry, bridge. Okay, it's still not going to want to do that. It is keeping the bridge that I want though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But for some reason, it's still giving me that other one. It's just not good. Let me just try a different one of these, Cast Iron Arch Bridge. Yeah, it's still the same thing. In fact, that's probably a nicer bridge for this. Uh, but I think it's having an issue here. Let me try, okay, I'm gonna try dropping it back one more. Um, so let me just try taking off this, 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 going into terraforming and dropping this, which I don't like as much because we're at the end of where the, this is coming in, but we could probably fix things up a little bit here anyway. Um, we could probably take one more off, actually. Uh, I don't think it's got anything to do with this this, this side, this left side here. See how we're coming at it from a land bridge? If I move into the bridge mode. Uh, yeah, there you go. So it's, it's giving me three there now with the piers. Though it is creating an extra pier there, and I don't get one at the other end. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm going to, while we're, while we're fiddling around with this, I'm actually just going to knock this guy back one as well. And this is what I love about Voxel Tycoon. You can voxel it, <laughs> a voxel at a time. Uh, and it's brilliant to keep sort of having a go at these. Um, okay, that made it worse. I'm going to try doing it from this side and going bridge. Okay, that, that does kind of, what, what are these, what are the bridges... You're the same as that, aren't you? You are one there. I'm going to do this because it's, yeah, if I do that, that kind of makes it similar to the other one. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the same, but a different color. Why is it the same, but a different color? That's, that's weird. Okay, let's do this and we'll go bridge coming up from that side. So they should be at least symmetrical. Okay. Um, Right, then we put the rails on. Oh, we're going to have all sorts of rail fun to, and signaling fun to put in as well. But we're only halfway there now. So now we have to go ahead and do the fun bit, which is the connecting of. And it's the connecting up of everything. So to do this, I think what we're going to do is just get rid of this property. And then we're going to say, right, I need, and, and I think the best thing to do here first is to take the road um, and take it right across the middle here. So it'll be, hmm, just trying to see, am I, is there a spot that's right in the middle of one of the arcs? And it's not really. So if I do this, that kind of, if I do that and I go tunnel, tunnel, ooh, well, you seem to want to come up. Why? Why are you doing that? We've got some height issues here. I think as long as we can get this guy a little bit away from it. If I look at it straight on, I'm four voxels away and there's two. So if I look at it from upwards and just rip out another two. Well, I ripped out four, but let's just have a look at two. In fact, no, I need to be two in order to keep it the same. So we take these guys back and we say, right, let's make this the same. And now I'm hoping that bridge is is the right thing. And I've done that kind of manually. Um, so that could work. And I go up to here. Why aren't you doing that? We've got a tunnel. No. Okay. Can I come across it 
can I come out like this? Uh, I think I can if I add in a bit of this. Okay, and let's see where we need to be. So if I start from this side, if I do, hang on, where are you? You are there. So I do that. Why? That works. That gets it to grade. Doesn't it? That gets it to grade. So why don't they connect? Can I do an extension here? Did that just work? That seems to work. So let's see if the trucks and cars like this. And then I, what I want to do here is make something quite symmetrical here as well. So let me uh, jump back in here and take out that and then get my terraforming and just level off a couple of bits. Well, I'll do that. Um, and I'm going to level off this bit as well. Mm, although, no, I like the idea of seeing the archway there. Although it is dropping a lot lower, isn't it? Well, we can take a lot of the other stuff away as well because, hmm, we don't need to drop down, do we? Where is that? No, the other one doesn't need to drop down. The other one doesn't. So now that I'm here, let's do, okay, let's do this. Let's just try and make this nice. So if we do this, uh, let's do, why don't we do that? And then that, so that is essentially that we can terraform away. Uh, that's that kind of makes that work. And then let's do a little U bend over here, keep that guy going. Uh, and then I will take away this guy. And then I'm going to, yeah, I certainly am. I'm going to try terraforming, and we might have to rebuild a bit of this. But I'm going to try just terraforming a lot out of here, and just do it like that, which is interesting. Um, this guy here is UK pillar box. Goodbye. And that's there. Okay. And if I just do, you can see the ramp a little bit better if I do that. And then if I come in here and say, right, am I able to just, well, firstly that, and then secondly, kind of make this a bit nice and chip away here and there. Just make that good. Okay. It kind of works. Um, the funny thing is, this is the easy bit. We've got some signaling things that are going to be real fun uh, in a sec. So if I'm just going to make this like, you know, this can just come across a bit. Yeah, you can come across because... Because there is another way round, and it's down there anyway. But I, I don't mind that, because if you're coming from here, you're not going to come all the way into town anyway. So that, that kind of works. That is enough for me to be able to release and and say, yep, that all works, and people can people can get there. Again, Voxel Tycoon will tell you if you've set up a route and you've broken the route and it can't get there. Um, the bridges are annoying me being different colours. I'm going to rebuild the bridges at some points, uh, but that's fine. Yeah, that's good. I like that. That works. Okay, so let's think about the um, the signaling now for this uh, commissioning project, and we'll watch it. We'll watch the research management, but let's think about uh, commissioning this um, this one. So first of all, I just want to get the signaling in. So if I have one train and I want them to work nicely, the way I want to do because I've sorry more than one train and I want them to work nicely. The way I want to do is I want to just grab my signals and of course I'm going to use um, pre-semaphores and semaphores in this series. Um, I think there's home and home and distance signals and I'm sure they work in the same way, but I'm just going to use my pre's and my, um, my semaphores. So the very first thing I want to do with this one um, is, let me pause it, is let me just see if I can get the rails to go. So basically I want a lot of trains and I want the trains to be able to go into either platform. So let me see if I can do this here, if I've got enough room. I've got to remember that, oh God, I may not have enough room to do this. I think if I do it one later, then, if I do it one later, no, one later is not going to work, is it? Is it? 
exit. It may work. If I do that, hmm. It may it may actually work as so a one-off, so we do this just to get symmetricality. We do that, and that is now symmetrical. I think I think I've got that. The signaling, I've completely forgotten how to do the signaling anyway. Um, but you know what? Let's just let's just do this like this anyway, because we've got one train and no signaling at the moment. So um, we'll get all well, let's get everything going first. Um, out here, we'll just leave the, the depot there. I think we're out of it. Uh, the train's quite small, so we can be close to the station. Uh, but if I grab the tracks, let me see where I can just do the little crossover. And I want these crossovers to be nice and cement. So I want these to be lovely. So let me try with, yep, I want the, that was the guess, but I basically want that right in the middle like that one. So that's perfect. Um, and then over here, we want the same thing. And of course, that's the easy bit. The signaling is the, uh, the part where we have to switch the brain onto the on button. We can do it here a little bit away. We don't have any other rail infrastructure that needs to be considered. Uh, and that's another fluke there. So that's good. Yep, nice. Okay, let's have a little go at this and then we'll put two, two, two of the rolling stock in and we'll, <laughs> we'll see if it works. Uh, it almost certainly won't. Oh, okay, and um, yeah, so we've got all the tracks here that allow everything to go in every direction. So let's start from this side and start off with the signaling. So um, coming out of the station first. So coming out of the station, I want them to go to the left and stay on the left. So I'm going to grab my semaphores and I want to put in, firstly, a correction here to say this is going that way and this is going that way. I can do that now. I've got the camera. Uh, so this is heading upwards and that's heading downwards. Yep. Let's now come into here. So at this point, I want to, at this stage, say you need to make a decision so you'll get a pre uh, or a chain. Uh, and and then and then both of them are going to be ins and outs. So block, block, in both directions. Yeah, and then the one coming out here should be just a block. But I think I haven't left enough room for it. I could put it there. It's not pretty, and I might need to look at moving that back a bit. Or I might need to look at getting rid of these whole, uh, all of these properties, or at least putting a little spur out there. So we'll see about that. Okay, um, and we've got this guy who is confused because he's in the wrong direction. So what I want to do is I want to say, can I send him back to depot? Toad a selected depot, it'll cost me some money. Bring him back into here, go to this depot, and now if I do... Let's leave him in the depot at the moment and let's pause the game. Uh, and now let's go and signal the rest of it. So uh, what we'll do here is these trains are quite small. So let me just uh, signal this without the automation. So I'll do just before the bend. So we'll do these two and then I'm going to do in the middle roughly here. Yeah. And then we'll go just after the little sort of dog whistle bit. And then let's do, yeah, let's just do one in the middle here as well. And then coming into here, I'm going to say coming backwards is going to be a block, but coming into it is going to be a chain. And then coming out of this is going to be a block, but coming into it is going to be a chain. Yeah. So while we're here, we might as well say coming out of it is going to be a block, But coming into it is going to be a chain. And of course, the spacing of those signals is not amazing. Although I think they might be the same. This one might have to come out a bit, but that's all right for now. Uh, now coming into here, we've got a standard. Well, we could have a block signal here because there's no decision to be made. So we'll say coming out is good. And then you'll say up here is good. But I'm just going to pop in an extra one here um, because I want to put a, another block and a block here because it's just saying make sure it's not blocked up ahead. And over here, it'll be coming out as a block, in is a chain, and then at the base of it, it's going to be one, two, three, and four, meaning this section, the red and the blue, is multi multi-directional. Um, while we're on the standard one, I have to put these here before and after the bridge. And I can't do them anywhere in the middle of the bridge because I don't have land. So you can't place, I don't think I can put them. Oh, I can. Brilliant. Brilliant. I didn't realize you can do that. That must be a change. 
didn't think we could do that. Maybe I was just, I had no idea. Uh, so you put it before the bridge there. These are all blocks. Uh, this bridge is quite long, so I'm just going to say right here and here. And then this way it's good to have a bit of money because you'd just be able to throw these guys in here and here. And then coming out of it is going to be a block. Into it is going to be a chain. And then over here before the station, we're going to say one, two, three, and four blocks. Now that is the theory. Let's unpause it and see what sort of issues this, this, mu this Muppet has. And release. Let's see if he's just... Ooh. Well, he got through the first one. It's interesting because... Oh, hang on. We should change his... Let's change his orders. No, let's send him back to depot. Mm, this is this is playing with fate here. Send him back to here, back to depot. Um, and then let's go into depot. And let's click on it and say, get rid of, get rid, get rid. Actually, I just want to delete all these for now. Yep. And I want to say, add a stop, passenger route A. Um, and uh, why does everything look different? Where are we? I'm in shadow mode here and everything looks slightly odd. Um, what am I looking at? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's start off here. So uh, so A will start at Bath Northwest, and it's going to be a um, transfer of passengers. And then it's going to be here, Ararat South, transfer of passengers. And then the third station integrated now, which will be Cape Java Southwest, transfer of passengers. I want this to now be a, um, a back and forth. So it'll do this one, this one, this one. So Bass, Ararat, Cape, then back to Ararat, then back to Bass. That'd be lovely. I'm going to say that. And now, moment of moment of truth. Let's do it again. Release all. <laughs> Let's see, where is he? Where is he? Is he back there? Hang on. Oh, we haven't unpaused the game. We're on speed one. Well, again, he's moving quickly. Um, and he's going he's going off to do it. So he's got no root issues, which is interesting. Let me duplicate him. Um, and then see if we can duplicate the whole thing. I don't want that. I just want to replace. No, I don't even want to replace. I just want to. Um, powered. Where's my passenger trains? What are we looking at here? I think it's a Pullman carriage, is it? No, it's these ones. Okay, I want to see what these trains are then. Right. Just stop that. What are you? You are a GWR steam rail motor carriage. Yeah. Okay. So if I go to edit it and I want to just, I can't duplicate it. But what I can do is I can, can I put in GWR steam carriage? Um, I want powered only. I just want powered. That's all we can do. Okay, we can't make these any bigger at the moment. So uh, that's fine. I want to release the second one. Now he's here, but the second one's coming out. So let's have a quick look and see how he's going to go. Um, see how my signaling is. Yep, so he's coming in the intersection. He'll let him go through and he's off and running. So I think that'll be pretty good. Um, research is getting there. I'm just going to come in here and grab two more, release them all. Now what we'll need to do is put a timing stop in. Um, so somewhere on the line we need to stick a timing stop in like we did with the buses. Uh, I want to actually see if the buses are now uh, replaceable as well because last episode we did look at the buses. So if I go here and I want to have a look at my buses, yeah I can put in the um, 
the buses now, the double decker buses. So let me go to uh, replacement fleet uh, vehicle replacement and just have a look at the road cars. Start new replacement and say for the buses, and I've got these ones. They're twelve people on the Ararat bus route. I want to swap that. I want to set up a replacement on this guy with this double decker bus. So I want to put through the giant double deckers, um, and I want to replace them all. And there are three of them, and they go from 12 people to 22 people. So they're off and running. Now, the threshold there is that I need to have 30,000 in the bank, I believe. Um, no, it'll be, it'll be threshold to 100%. So as long as I've got the money to replace it, then I'll the extra. So it costs 15. I think my refund is 15. Um, it's an overall price of 30, so I'll be paying an extra 15. I've got to have all that 15 in, in the bank before it'll consider doing the replacement. So that will um, just keep going, and that is nice. Uh, and if we do look at that route, uh, if I sort by routes and go down to, to uh, here and I look at my bus route, let's have a look at where that... Whoop, what are you doing? Don't do that. Uh, the bus route is going on the A series and then into timing. So if I just want to click on this... It was in Ararat, so um, the bus route is moving from one to two. Uh, where you go? In three, four, um, five, timing six, and then going back as well, I believe. So that's all pretty good. Uh, and you can see there's a bus actually heading in here to do a replacement. So we'll watch it do a replacement. Um, but that is that is brilliant. Uh, so yeah, we're really cruising along uh, in this series in Voxel Tycoon. Um, there we go. And the new double-decker bus is on his way out and has those seven passengers who had to basically go to the terminal and have it replaced. Uh, let's have a quick look and see if we've got um, the right the right amount here. So the train is dropping up 80, 86 of these. Um, and I've got these guys here. There are two of these trucks um, and they're the research trucks. I think I'm going to want my research trucks to be slightly better than they are as well. So let's set up a replacement for those guys. Now the research trucks I decided to set up. Um, so we do a new replacement and I want my research trucks. Now I believe those trucks are here and they're automatic. Now they're for stone at the moment, um, but they're the research trucks there. And you'll see it says one, but I'm sure there's two. Yeah, there's two. There's another one there. Is it not? What are you doing? Is that weird? What are you, what are you doing? Research truck. Okay, you need to go back to... Center the nearest depot. Yep. So he'll go to the nearest depot. This guy is set up a stone, um, but I want to replace you. Um, and let's do it as... Well, it's stone anyway, isn't it? Yeah. I replace you if you if you take anything. Oh, I'm setting it up with the same. Oh, no, we don't want that. Start new replacement. And I want the research truck with just stone. And I want to grab you and say replace. And I want to say filter to stone. Um, and I want the bigger truck, which is going to be this guy at 20. Now this is Scaleman's modern, uh, one of the modern hopper trucks, I believe. Um, and this guy's going to be brilliant. So you will be, yep, you'll be off and running. And that's that's quite expensive. We'll keep an eye on that because it's a research truck. Um, but also in here, I want to do this one as well. And if I go to change you to stone... I should apply and then I go <coughs> set up a replacement. Uh, it's going to be a new replacement because you're going to be the one truck that is going to be, where are you? Stone there. Are you, you're here, are you? No. Set up a replacement. I really want to find that single truck. So you're, there's one. And it's, I think it is this guy, actually. Yeah, it's this guy. Uh, and I would go there and go stone. Replace you with something that carries stone. And we're taking this one, the scale one's modern um, one. Uh, those buses have been replaced. Um, so you are... What's happening? I can't tell if I've done both now. I really don't know what's happening now. 
can I just release you? You're going to go do what you're doing. But I'm just going to try doing this again. Please try and do... Where is he? He's a single truck. This guy is a research one. I want to replace you. Stone. You're going to be Scales Modern Hopper Truck with four axles. Um, step three... To minimize the replacement cost, one or more existing placements will be updated. I don't understand. Okay, well we got we got those two going. I don't understand why I can't do both of those. Both they're, they're weird at the moment now. Um, but you'll see where's the scalmans, the big truck. He really should only be between here and here. There he is. No, 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 he isn't. And now we've got no one going there. It's interesting. Ah, uh, here's the Scarman's one. So where is the third, where's the other truck? Here it is here. And he's doing the stone, isn't he? Yeah. Is it a money thing? I don't think it's a money thing as well. Okay, I'm going to have a little look at that and just see and just tinker with that and see what's happening. Let's make sure everyone's cruising through here. And also, where are the trains? We got the trains all blocked up. Usually by now I go back and check on them and they're all sitting behind each other. There they are, all sitting behind each other. So I'll need to, we've got the trains kissing here. Um, and so I'll need to, the, all these all these are really quite close. So I might have to move the depot away. Uh, it could be this signal here that's causing issues. Um, and I think what I don't want is trains coming out of here. Oh yeah, if you're coming out, you don't want to block it. So that needs to be a chain signal. Yes. So I think that's the difference. I think I need to have a chain signal here. Because we want it to look ahead and not block it. And then and then if you're coming out there, that's going to be a chain signal as well. Yep. And then if you're going in, it's going to be a chain signal. And then out is going to be looking ahead. And heading into this one is just like, uh, well, I suppose we don't need these two here, do we? Uh, I'm going to get rid of this one and this one and just see. Oh, no. Of course, that got rid of those. Man. Okay. Wow, well, let's remove those. Let's remove those. That's a shame about that. But it solved our problem. Um, and I think it might have sorted it out. Um, I don't have enough money to replace these guys now. Um, how much are they going to cost? 86,000. Jeez, I'm very close. I must be very, very close. But uh, we might get the kissing trains elsewhere if we're not careful. Well, let's just go with two for the moment. Uh, another vehicle replacement has just been organized. And I think that might be that last one. Um, oh, speed, speed one. So let's go and have a look at my research trucks and just see, are they both? There's one of them and there is the other one. Yes, they're now both gone. So I already had it organized um, and I was trying to do it over the top of it, but I didn't realize that. Uh, and this train here will um, hopefully change into, although it's a lovely steam train, but it'll hopefully change into a lovely um, diesel train. We'll start looking at diesel trains in the next episode as well. So I'm going to leave the episode there. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It um, Even between episodes, I'll, I'll get the research done uh, and then next episode we'll start looking at where we can get gold from because we want to see about that and as well as adding in copper and sand into the mix and getting everything else going uh, we definitely need to look at um, getting industry up a little bit more we are focused on towns um, it's taken a while to get some of these rails going but now that we've done that we need to look at unlocking some of these lands like this one's got sand and I think knocking that back would so we've already got two towns next to each other we get a third town next to it and i think that would be absolutely brilliant uh if they all join in together and we can look at putting um this um train uh this metro right the way through and into here so uh, i hope you've enjoyed that don't forget to leave a comment like and subscribe to the channel and i look forward to seeing you in the next episode of voxel tycoon and this is our great gun barrel highway series cheers, cheers.